A term limit is a legal restriction that limits the number of terms an officeholder may serve in a particular elected office. When term limits are found in presidential and semi-presidential systems they act as a method of curbing the potential for monopoly, where a leader effectively becomes «president for life». This is intended to protect a democracy from becoming a de facto dictatorship. Sometimes, there is an absolute or lifetime limit on the number of terms an officeholder may serve, sometimes, the restrictions are merely on the number of consecutive terms he or she may serve. History Ancient Term limits have a long history. Ancient Athens and ancient Rome, two early classic republics, had term limits imposed on their elected offices as did the city state of Venice. In ancient Athenian democracy, only offices selected by sortition were subject to term limits one term of one year for each office, except members of the Council of 500, where it was possible to serve two one year terms, non consecutively. Elected offices were all subject to possible re-election, although they were minoritarian, these positions were more prestigious and those requiring the most experience, such as military generals and the superintendent of springs. In the Roman Republic, a law was passed imposing a limit of a single term on the office of censor. The annual magistrates—tribune of the plebs, aedile, quaestor, praetor, and consul, were forbidden re-election until a number of years had passed, see Cursus Honorum, Constitution of the Roman Republic. Also there was a term limit of six months for a dictator. <laughs> modern Many modern presidential republics employ term limits for their highest offices. The United States placed a limit of two terms on its presidency by means of the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution in 1951. There are no term limits for vice presidency, representatives and senators, although there have been calls for term limits for those offices. Under various state laws, some state governors and state legislators have term limits. Formal limits in America date back to the 1682 Pennsylvania Charter of Liberties, and the colonial frame of government of the same year, authored by William Penn and providing for triennial rotation of the Provincial Council, the upper house of the colonial legislature, see also term limits in the United States. The Russian Federation has a rule for the head of state that allows the President of Russia to serve more than two terms if not consecutive as in the case of Vladimir Putin, however Putin is in favor of removing term limits. For governors of federal subjects, the same two-term limit existed until 2004, but now there are no term limits for governors. Term limits are also common in Latin America, where most countries are also presidential republics. Early in the last century, the Mexican revolutionary Francisco Madero popularized the slogan Sufragio Efectivo, no reelección effective suffrage, no re-election. In keeping with that principle, members of the Congress of Mexico the Chamber of Deputies and Senate cannot be re-elected for the next immediate term under Article 50 and 59 of the Constitution of Mexico, adopted in 1917. Likewise, the President of Mexico is limited to a single six-year term. This makes every presidential election in Mexico a non-incumbent election. Countries that operate a parliamentary system of government are less likely to employ term limits on their leaders. This is because such leaders rarely have a set term at all, rather, they serve as long as they have the confidence of the parliament, a period which could potentially last for life. Many parliaments can be dissolved for snap elections which means some parliaments can last for mere months while others can continue until their expiration dates. Nevertheless, such countries may impose term limits on the holders of other offices. In republics, for example, a ceremonial presidency may have a term limit, especially if the office holds reserve powers. Topic: <laughs> Types. Term limits may be divided into two broad categories: consecutive and lifetime. With consecutive term limits, an officeholder is limited to serving a particular number of terms in that particular office. Upon hitting the limit in one office, an officeholder may not run for the same office again though he, she may run for any other elective office. 
After a set period of time usually one term, the clock resets on the limit, and the officeholder may run for election to his, her original office and serve up to the limit again. With lifetime limits, once an officeholder has served up to the limit, he, she may never again run for election to that office. Lifetime limits are much more restrictive than consecutive limits. Notable examples Relaxed term limits Tighten term limits People who would have run afoul of modern term limits See also Term limits in the United States Term of office List of political term limits Re-election <laughs>